Today I'm uh, setting up my mill to do degreed bores, uh, you know, on a rotary table like this here. Um, the problem is, is the piece that I'm doing has to be degreed. It's so many degrees, and it's actually smaller than the diameter of this. So I want to make sure that I get it mounted in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of bar stock. It's going to fit down the middle of that, okay? But I have to figure out what the diameter of this bar stock is. And to do that, there's really only one way. Although, you know, sometimes you'll see guys, you know, come in there, get a measurement like that, which is, you know, that's great if you're doing uh, work that doesn't have a tight tolerance, but this is a fairly tight tolerance job. And this type of measurement is really not going to work. And the reason is, is because, you know, you could get it in and out of the hole like that. Even though these are sharp, you know, there's still that, that factor, that fudge factor. So the only way to really get it accurate is to use uh, telescoping gauges and a micrometer, okay? So telescoping gauges come in a number of sizes like this, okay? That hole is going to be the size of the smallest gauge. This one goes from half to three-quarter. So that's the one I'm going to choose. And the way it works is when you put it in the bore, once it gets down to the thickness, it actually pushes the anvil here, okay? Pushes the anvil in and out. Once it gets to the thickness, then you lock it down and then you measure it with a micrometer. Like this, okay? So that's my one inch mic micrometer. The trick is you want to get this into the bore straight because there's going to be some yaw there too. So to absolutely guarantee that you have it straight in the bore, you know, you could use a square on it, okay? And you gotta get it square this way and square that way. So now, I'm gonna insert this into the bore. And I'm just gonna get a, make sure I get a square measurement out of it. A little bit deeper into the bore, okay? And there we go, okay, we're locked down. And the reason I know that was square was because the bottom of this is square, so it's square that way too, okay? So I've locked this down to the size that it actually is. It's going to give me a nice accurate measurement. I'm going to take my mic, okay? And then I'm going to put it between the anvils. I've already done this once as a warm-up before I shot this video, so... This guy here needs to slide into the anvils, so let me just kind of... It's actually... Uh, it's actually a little bit off. I'm trying to do it so you can see it on the camera. Okay. So the anvils need to be exactly straight in there, and it looks like I can lock my measurement here, okay? If you read the mic, We've got 0 0.6, 1, 2, 3, 0.63, it's almost 0 0.630, but it's actually 0 0.629, I believe. I'll have to read it once I get off camera here, but that's how you get an accurate measure out of a hole like that. So I'm going to machine this piece. To okay, you have to excuse me, my camera ran out of battery when I was trying to make my point. So I'm going to machine this piece to fit into here and it's going it, the the trick about this is is that it's actually a Morse taper hole so the top is bigger than the bottom so I'm going to take you know measurements on the top and on the bottom and then I'm going to figure out what the angle is for the Morse taper and then it's going to be a Morse taper that slides in there so uh, that'll be a whole nother video kids so thanks for watching and I hope you learned something